within the study of a few minutes, a 35 years with pain, history of uh, pain in the right eye mucosa is tender in this region, and you can see uh, that uh, with a partially filled urinary bladder, this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section, this is the uterus, uterine outline, the anterior myometrium posterior, the endometrial canal, and as I move the probe, upwards, we see a cystic area, longitudinal tubular, which is uh, consistent with a bubble-related uh, mass, and this is a mass that is very much suggestive of an appendicular uh, mass. History is that of a sudden pain in this region, the region of the right eye lymphosa, and this structure with internal tiny, this is the internal tiny uh, calcification, this is the other one, it measures approximately 7.3 into 3.5 centimeter and is uh, has a regular outer surface, outer margins, internal equals are seen in abundance. So appendicular abscess is the most probable diagnosis. No fluid is seen and this is the this is the transfer section and in this transfer section of the same segment you can see that the outer surface is regular. This cystic area is filled with uh, internal echoes and there is a solid ecogenic area of um, approximately measuring 13 into 21, 18 into 21 millimeters at its uh, lateral margin, this area, this is solid, rest all of it is uh, hypopoic filled with uh, internal echoes and right eye vessels can be seen forcing posterior to this uh, mass under study. Now we have to do out whether if it, it is, uh, it may not be an ovarian pathology, that this is a female patient. Now this is the ovary. This is the right ovary. This is the mass. And this is the uterus, fundus of the uterus in longitudinal section. And uh, this is the ovary with no follicular activity at well. So this is the ovary, right ovary. So it's separate from the right ovary. And uh, the mass is separate from the right ovary. So this is a study of uh, appendicular abscess. tiny internal calcifications are consistent with uh, the appendicular abscess by ultrasound parameters. There is uh, no evidence of adjacent adenopathy and there is no fluid seen in the pelvic cavity and all in the peritoneal cavity. Thank you.